Uh, did you hear about uh, Jamie Foxx, man? I've heard about it. It's It's been, like, strangely cryptic. But if he's still in the hospital, which is my understanding, this is a tragedy. Yeah. Um, I've maintained for a couple years that there's no more talented an entertainer on the planet than Jamie Foxx. The, the complete diversity that can, he can offer, you know, legitimate singing, legitimate comedy, legitimate dramatic acting, phenomenal, like, whatever, podcast, show, like, storyteller. This is, like, literally one of the most talented entertainers to ever walk the earth. Seriously. And for him, and I think he's in his 50s, he's not terribly old, mm-hmm. um, to be in this situation. Now, yeah, there it, there is an update now. It, yeah. It's sad. It is, it is. But there is, there is an update. So he's been in a, about roughly three weeks or so, okay? And... Um, he he actually broke his silence today, all right? He spoke? Yeah, he spoke. Oh. Um, he says, I appreciate all the love, feeling blessed, okay? Um, and he put that out on his uh, Instagram page. Um, I'm sure, it, you know, he probably had somebody to do it for him. But, uh, you know, he says he's feeling blessed. So it looks like he, he, he may make it through. And, we, uh, of course, we all hoping he makes it through. And, of course, his family yesterday sent out a message to everybody saying, you know, pray for Jamie, he's still in here, blah, blah, blah. So, uh, for sure. I'm not a religious person. We know that well. But I- I'm going to tell you, uh, him saying blessed is, I don't take that as a positive and not, not on religious grounds. Mm. That That's not specific. Feeling that's, blessed. Th- that's vague. Like, yeah. that's that's like, you know, and, and you're asking for prayers. That, that means he's probably really not doing well and is basically just trying to, acknowledge something i mean i don't i didn't take that as good news at all mm-hmm. i i'm i'm concerned that that's actually more concerning when you said he said something i i thought it might be like you a, know, a video a, audio or something or something a little bit better than blessed yeah, like you know blessed. like you know hey it, it's been a rough couple of weeks but i'm starting to feel better and hope to see some of y'all soon like something something right that that's that's awful um, now I, I i i have my top five work from Jamie Fox, I was going to list that out. You know, uh, a lot of times I do top fives on this show. I'm going to get to that. Get to that. But uh, randomly, I was watching um, Steve Harvey on um, on uh, Shannon Sharp's podcast, and he was talking about a moment. And I'm going to just really quick here because you talked about his age here. Jamie Fox is is 55 years old. Right. All right. And um, you got Steve. Steve. I, I just I was curious. And Steve Harvey is 66, okay? So Steve Harvey was... Double Satan. <laughs> he was talking about his how he broke into the industry or what have you and his and, and stand-up. So, you know, and a lot of those guys, they started out stand-up. Same thing with Jamie Foxx and, and Cedric Entertainer. So uh, um, Steve is telling a, a story about how he was, you know, trying to break into the industry. He's really poor, and he spent his last $30 to go up to um I, i'm pretty sure it was new york uh to this show he got a call and um so he made it to the show um and spent his last dollar to get there and when he gets into the room here is uh a J- young jamie fox and a cedric entertainer first time he's meeting these people in his, his entire life and they're going on this on this show it was um it's just hit me you know when they when they can boo people off and stuff like that um like the gong show or like the apollo thing apollo, apollo apollo right so they're going up there and steve went last but he said jamie fox went first and and when jamie fox went up to do his comedy routine at that time and jamie's got to be really young he's what like i just say 11 years younger than steve so if you can imagine how young jamie is at this time he goes up on the stage and they're booing him really booing him his uh comedy routine about to kick him off and then he goes to singing and when he goes to singing, he gets the entire crowd. Now everybody's clapping. He said he's never seen anything like that in his entire life. From and I'm talking about because the Apollo guy is really aggressive, right? Yeah. So from them to go to completely booing to them completely standing up and cheering and yeah. clapping is crazy. That goes to your yeah. to your but talent, that's the thing, like level. like Sid, like who else could do that other than him? <laughs> exactly. Like, and I'm sure when he's saying like it is. It's as good as any singer. Like, <laughs> right. it's, it's crazy. I mean, exactly. one of my, I mean, I, you're, I guess you got your top five. I just wanted yeah, to interject yeah. and say, like, 
I love there's a oh, segment. Oh, 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 oh go ahead, go ahead. All right, there's there's a there's a segment I've seen him do a couple times where it's it's you know, he impersonates like back to back to back like oh, okay, Prince, impersonations, yeah. Luther Vandross, yeah. and and like sing stuff in there and it's just crazy. Yeah, and it sounds like so much like them. Yeah, and it's insane. And that's man. the underrated thing because impersonations is, is its own thing. It's like a form of entertainment. It's not really comedy. It's not really singing. It's not you know, but it's its own like thing and he's yeah. like one of the best at that as well yeah <laughs> you know what I mean? and then when he seductively sings the brady bunch song I mean, <laughs> yeah. my god i mean just that's insane that's insane man oh so i'm gonna run down my top five uh work from jamie fox all right um i'm gonna give as an honorable mention i'm Ooh, gonna give um taking uh, a little license here yeah yeah <laughs> i'm gonna give any given sunday an honorable mention it's not only because this is a sports uh you know related show uh but any given sunday was a really good it was a good movie and uh it was funny it was in, it was interesting and it was based loosely off of a true story there so i, I want to give any given sunday an honorable mention there all right but it, it just it, it, it had no chance to break my top five here <laughs> all right number five Top five work from Jamie Foxx is the Jamie Foxx show. Okay. Uh, that was sort of a lot of people's introduction to Jamie. And um, it was in an era of all of these dope, you know, sitcom shows, especially the 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 UPN era was a lot of black shows. You know, you got Martin and you have Fresh Prince and you have, you know, all of those I can keep on and on and on. And although you may not rank the Jamie Foxx show uh, uh, above those or what have you, we still watch. And it was still in the same neighborhood as those. And he was hilarious. And uh, that show did really well and was on for a number of years. Okay, the Jamie Foxx show coming in at number five. All right. Coming in at number four is actually a movie. All right. It's called Collateral. Uh, I'm not, not With sure. Tom if Cruise, seen it. yeah. Love low key, love that <laughs> it's, movie. Yes, yeah, low key, love that movie. Yeah, that's, 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 yeah. I wrote that down. Low key, love that movie. That, yeah, cause, I mean, Jamie was like a like a cab driver, a, a taxi basically. cab driver. Yeah, and Tom Cruise was playing like a kind of like a villain, which was kind of yes. not his normal bag. Uh huh. That was great. And who was the female? It was a female, right? That they uh, were trying you, to. You don't know the. Uh, I don't know actress? her name. Damn. I don't know her name. Uh, but yes, he I was. May, I may have jerked off to her. <laughs> he was basically held as a uh, as a hostage, and um, he was, um, you know, they received he received some nom- nominations, Oscars for a uh, support actor for that role. Uh, of course, Tom was the the lead role. And it, and that also that experience generated some good Jamie Foxx Tom Cruise stories. Yeah, because Tom Cruise is a love him or hate him, he's a unique character. <laughs> yeah, and so Jamie always had like material of the time that they worked together that was just like. Only Tom Cruise. <laughs> For sure. Coming in number three is another movie. I really wanted to go higher with this movie. Django. Um, I'm trying to be objective here. Django is my favorite Jamie Foxx work of all really? time. Really? Uh, but if I have to be objective, he was uh, technically a supporting actor. And when people think about that movie, they think about Leonardo DiCaprio, for, for Di, you know, DiCaprio first before they think Jamie. All right. So um, just being objective. Uh, but of course, he was acting as a free slave and all of the, 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 the movie, um, the Oscar nominations that they received for that movie was awesome. All right. So it has to be on the list. I, um, I got to share a quick story on Django. Go. So I saw Django on on Christmas Day. Oh, wow. And uh, I was horribly sick. (laughs) And I don't remember the movie super well, but there was a point in time that it felt like the movie was ending. And then there was about another 45 minutes. (laughs) And I'm talking like fever, ready to vomit, in the theater watching this. And I was like overjoyed when I thought the movie was ending. Yeah. And then that extra 45 minutes made me dig to a very dark place I don't know I've ever been before. (laughs) And we capped that off by having Christmas dinner at Denny's. Oh, man. (laughs) To make you sicker. And that's why I've never seen Django Django again. (laughs) And I've not forgotten that day. I love Django, man. Number two, uh, I'm cheating a little bit here. Um, because I want to pick two. What's new? Actually, it comes. I know. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it comes from his singing career. All right. So we got slow jams. 
All right, for the people, man, you know, she say she wants some Marvin Gaye, some Luther Vandross, a little Anita, and we can. I don't, I don't want to. I don't want to. You know, you're getting there, but I didn't think you were gonna stop. I, 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 you know, <laughs> I don't want y'all to be throwing me, throwing your panties up on the screen, and and getting me trying to get me music contracts. But that's that's. I got slow jams there, and of course, um, uh, uh, blame it on the alcohol. All right. Uh, Blame It On Alcohol is technically his biggest song, his biggest record. It, you know, it's, it stayed at number one on the billboards for like 20 or 30 weeks or something crazy. Um, but Slow Jams is my favorite Jamie Foxx song, and it, it, actually, it made it number one on the billboard as well. I, I'm glad you mentioned Panties. Because there was one of his uh, musical comedy things. He's at a piano. He's performing in an auditorium, and he's you know kind of hits a few little sexy things. And he looks up at the top at this girl, and I like he goes, "Panties wet, aren't they?" <laughs> <laughs> that was just like That's oh, classic. it was beautiful. That's classic, beautiful. man. And uh, coming in at number one uh, uh, is Ray, of course, man. Um, I, I I'm glad you said Ray. Uh, yeah, Ray. Uh, you know he's playing Ray Charles there. He won an Oscar for it. He was the lead role. All right, for best and he won for best actor. And I mean, he just just from the mannerisms to just he just killed and nailed everything apart about that movie, man. It was crazy good. Yeah, no, it was. It was. It was. Uh, I, I I wasn't. I wasn't even necessarily a super Ray Charles fan, and I didn't see it in the theater, but I eventually saw it, and I was like, that was really incredible. Um, uh, uh, so I don't know. I don't know about that, Coach. Coach Rudy says the 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 lady was uh, Jada Pinkett. Oh, I I don't I don't I don't know if that was Jada. I take back jerking off then. <laughs> I run that one back. <laughs> we'll look that up. And Black, you said post apply on your community board. I don't know if I know how to do that, but if I find it, I will. Um, I'll do that. Let me see if um, – no, I can't post it here, can I? <laughs> uh, and, yes, yeah, so that is my top five for the, the top Jamie Foxx. And for that seafood flyer like uh, Black is asking for, I'll, I'll, I'll post it um, – Yes, on the the, like, the YouTube channel, you just have to go to the YouTube channel and, and you'll see it on there. But again, to cover the five, number five is Jamie Foxx show. Number four is the movie Collateral. Number three is Django. Two is the song Slow Jams and uh, Blame It on the Alcohol. And number one is Ray. All right, man. Well, yeah, we're pulling for you, Jamie, and yeah, we love your talent. Man, I man. hope there's more things to add to this top five. Oh, for sure, for sure.